Now guys, if you remember the good old days, you had lovely music accompanying the Bellagio fountains, but now you've got thumping club music accompanying the Bellagio fountains. And I'm not saying it's not nice, I'm saying it's a different vibe. This doesn't do it for me. I'm not old, but I mean, it's just, come on. It's club, 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 club. Vegas, it's all about clubbing. Weekends in particular, okay? Bear that in mind. Can you hear the music? I mean, it's great to club with, but it's loud too. It's just, this is what you get. It's crazy. It's just what it is. It's clapping, and I know it's fun, you know, for young people. I'm young, but I remember what it was like before. Things are changing, guys, 2019. I have a question for Bellagio. Have they lost their mind? Okay, so this on the side here, you've got steps to go up. If you want to avoid, if you have to cross, and you have to go to Caesar's Palace, which is there, usually what happens, I mean, pedestrians, good luck, okay? Pedestrians are not priority in Las Vegas or probably nowhere in North America <laughs> or the States, you know, don't get me wrong, but it is true, right? Um, so you gotta go all these bridges, you got bridges, you know, everywhere, don't even start crossing the road uh, when you're not a zebra crossing, they'll just run over you and you have a no leg to stand on, it's, they're gonna kill you, okay? This is the traffic, by the way, it's crazy. Um, so what I'm saying is, at the end of at the bottom of these bridges, you've got elevators and escalators. But Bellagio special. On this side, they just want you to go into, if you go inside, you have to go inside, then you will have elevators, escalators. You cannot, you have to go in. And I refuse to the day, I'm sick of it, you know. So, like, you've got this, you've got these, people know, you know, able-bodied people, thankfully I am. Just go up the stairs this dark little corner here and you go up you know and you go either to Bellagio there which you know then it defeats the purpose but in my case crossing the bridge going all the way to Caesar's Palace I mean have they lost their mind where is the effing elevator here <laughs> I mean come on it's so cheap you know anyway this is it in the middle of this is the mid strip the heart of mid strip you are in mid strip on the right you've got bellagio and then you've got paris this is cromwell and caesars but i just wanted to show you this little corner just to give you an idea that in the evening this is the traffic if you are going to get a cab or whatever give yourself plenty of time to go from a to b go early cabs will always then well i wouldn't say always but sometimes they're gonna fool you around say, oh i gotta go this way this way and it's gonna take you forever so watch out you know give yourself plenty of time if you have to travel at night otherwise you'll be disappointed rent a car if you can it's always a safe bet though walking all the way to the car park from some of these resorts it's 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 a whole trek per se okay guys i just wanted to show you it's a bit of a grump I'm, I'm grumped out tonight. I've reviewed too many buffets. I'm so full. But at the same time, it's like, come on, you know. There are things that bother me, like that, that thing that Bellagio has decided to do. All right, guys. Oh, well, you know, it can all be perfect in paradise, can it? One other thing. Oh, this is mid-strip again, right? And I've shown you, I've shown you mid-strip many, many times, so I'm not going to dwell on it too much at all. I just wanted to say one thing in 2019 that you will find different. I've been running around, that's why I'm sure, uh, out of breath. Truly, literally running around. Is the pervasive, all-encompassing um, smell of weed, marijuana. Because it's legal now, right? Here. I don't mind, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to lecture, it's fine, I don't care, I couldn't care less. But I, I actually, wanted you to know and it's funny because you walk around you think what's the smell of skunk is there a skunk oh no 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 it's weed <laughs> lovely cvs right in front of me in the middle of mid strip because god you really need your proper water sometimes right it's good to have it there i'm really thrilled i mean you may or may not like it but so you know there's a and you find everywhere i don't know if you can see it there's a oh i don't know if you can see it at all 
there you go. There's um, they advertise weed apothecary shop. Uh, they advertise it everywhere. It's everywhere, guys. So there's another reason to come to Vegas for some of you. Alcohol isn't enough. <laughs> Alcohol is everywhere, right? So it's another Amsterdam, so to speak. Anyway, check out the law about smoking weed in public places, okay? Check it out because things change all the time. But nonetheless, you can go buy it. And don't take it back home if you are from certain countries because you're not just smoke it here and another one look another one another one that um, advertising see can you read new leaf new leaf everywhere they're everywhere well i'm going to show you this as well it's got nothing to do with that so that's a new thing for 2019 it's going to be so you got that you got tons of partying clubbing clubbing events clubbing it's a little bit of a different atmosphere weekends as i said to you earlier i try to avoid it like the plague i go out of the strip definitely not downtown either because that's another and you know i don't want to be deaf at 60. the the thumping music at uh, at the bellagio you know i couldn't show it because i had to leave but even the ducks were running away it was crazy i actually think i pierced my eardrum too much i don't want to be deaf at 60. no 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 i want to hear perfectly when i'm old okay now i'm walking back to mirage um and i really like i actually prefer i still prefer the side of the strip that goes from uh, caesar's palace up so you've got caesar's palace mirage on this side you've got caesar's palace mirage treasure island and on the other side you've got okay you've got flamingo and harris nothing to shout about the link but then you've got venetian and win you know a bit classier really the classier it's funny because the classier part of vegas is definitely venetian and wing and then you've got mirage which is lovely the south yeah you've got ari and cosmopolitan but which is cool and funky and uh, modern but it isn't classy okay oh some of you will just scream at me well that's what i think okay <laughs> uh but aria a little bit more cosmopolitan is a crazy part during um the weekend it's all crazy i mean where you know if you're one of those that want to have um hearing when you're old bring some uh, earplugs or one of those noise cancelling headphones <laughs> i know i sound so old when i say that but i couldn't care less couldn't care less uh, and don't you do it just don't care just be yourself right if this is what you want it's cool if it's not say it and of course i'm going to show you this why not that's the old vegas i mean this is the old vegas i know i've seen a few guys checking on their cell checking uh websites for girls oh you're so obvious but it just feels like god the new, the good old days was gambling girls you know a bit of debauchery now it's thumping 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 parties and look at this traffic watch out i mean it if you've got plans for friday night and you have to go from a to b do not give yourself tons of time okay i gotta go now eh? i gotta go now i think you've got an idea how crazy it is well well and also in terms of buffets it's really weird you know you've got mirage treasure island win caesar's bacchanal of course fabulous of course this year is good 2019 expensive like hell but i mean bellagio has disappointed me greatly bellagio has disappointed me greatly this year uh with regards to the buffet you gotta check the review cosmopolitan i have no words paris and planet hollywood you know since they got you know with a 24-hour buffet pass they've got some average buffets rio was fabulous and this again this is if you want to go to rio i must have said it 10 times already but on this side this side of caesar's palace can you see it this side um you can catch the 202 bus it's a minute one minute to get to rio well worth it okay and the harrow that you see that is the free shuttle from gold coast and the orleans I think well I know unless there's the same bus doing something else at the same time and that's the other shuttle again the Orleans and Gold Coast shuttle okay and from here on it, it on this side on this side it's a little bit more civilized on that side it's still crazy and it's got really narrow a narrow walkway outside and sometimes I prefer to do it through the casinos anyway that's it
lots of noise. Can't wait to get into my room. Um, so with regards to buffets, I prefer this side though to the south. Even now, South Strip, you know, I mean, you don't get, if you're really south-south, um, Mandalay Bay, it's extreme south, but you know, south MGM Grand, Escalibur, New York, New York, it's okay. But the Cosmopolitan Bellagio, that area there is just, during the weekend where you've seen it right um anyway there's worse than this this is nothing compared to some special times during the year this is like no it's only a weekend it's not like breaks you know those um spring breaks oh forget that you won't be able to walk okay uh this is nothing compared to those times and i've got videos showing you that anyway and then here they are at night, the fountains, the Caesar's Palace, you know, with that thumping crazy music that pierced my eardrum at Bellagio with their own fountains, I actually prefer this. <laughs> I don't care if I sound old, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. I actually have my eardrum in my left is killing me, it was too loud and too crazy. Had I known I would have stayed clear of it, gosh! What's going into Bellagio? And, and their buffet sucks compared to what it used to be. What is going on? Is it my Vegas that ruined it all? Or is it just they don't care anymore? Really, honestly, I think if it wasn't for Aria and occasionally once every six months MGM Grand, their buffet is just completely, I don't know, gone out of the window, really. What is going on? Jesus. <laughs> I shouldn't be using that word, you know, in a, in a review, and forgive me guys but, and girls, but what on earth has happened to MGM Resorts and how tight they are? Not all, actually. Mirage was good. Mirage was good. But you know why they're good, in my opinion? You know why? Let me put my bag somewhere so that I don't shake and I can actually zoom. Do you know why Mirage is good, in my opinion? It's because they are out there in the middle of nowhere. And in the middle of nowhere, I don't mean location wise i mean there's no other mgm resort around and so they have to compete right if you stay mirage outside and all around you've got the other groups so they gotta do something nice about mgm grand mandalay bay heaven for, for no way what's going on to mgm resort what's going on what on earth they've lost it completely you gotta watch my review to understand this is nothing you gotta watch my reviews and then hopefully you get a good picture and decide if 2019 is gonna be a roller coaster for all of us okay guys see you on top buffetcom this is still my favorite side of um, the strip you know like we've got Caesar's Palace and I showed you I showed you just a second ago I might actually add it here as well and then you've got well this is just so they didn't know what they were doing when they actually created the outside of link what on earth is that <laughs> nonetheless it's a box they've got this old Harris it's just yeah, this is history now history is so kitsch right but it's just I don't know I kind of like it in a way you know and then of course I mean it just is then you've got those lovely um, thankfully those lovely palm trees in the middle and uh, you can smell weed everywhere I can't stop saying everywhere and I don't see anybody smoking so I don't know what it is they just smell uh, this is I mean I'm gonna go further a little bit I just love this area and you know when I'm in this area of the street first of all not quite so many crazies but enough I'm sorry I'm just call it the grumpy walk number 10 um, but you've got here you got a really a treat you've got Bacchanal in terms of uh, great buffets you've got the bus that takes you to the Rio just next to Caesar's Palace and then you've got Treasure Island a lovely delicate buffet for those who are a little bit fussy about what they put in their stomach and then further up of course you've got Classy Wynn and Venetian Venetian doesn't have a buffet by the way you know that right I just like this area and uh, personally Mirage and Treasure Island um, well I'm staying in Mirage I love it because they're small resorts relatively speaking they've got Mirage has got a beautiful pool closed for winter except for one little section but um, but it's just easy to get out 
um, I would not in a gazillion years want to be I've done it for reviewing it but I, even like Vadara it's just you have to walk to get through horrible areas to get into the onto the strip and cosmopolitan sometimes you're going to throw yourself down from the chandelier out of desperation it's that crazy Bellagio's lost it you just saw they lost it they pierced my eardrum on the left um because i was walking this way just crazy so but that's the weekend the weekend okay it's weekend craze that's my point right <laughs> nothing I just wish that blah blah advertising things that have now decided this is MGM I mean what is going on with them they've lost their mind MGM have lost their mind and you know what their new motto is oh we're here to entertain you no 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 you're here to bother me that's what it is I know it sounds grumpy I know I don't care you know what is this blah blah that goes on in the middle of this beautiful waterfall listen to it it's got to be the weekend only because I didn't hear it yesterday what is this garbage I would use stronger words but I don't want to okay what is this garbage garbage MGM Resorts, you've lost it, you've lost it, okay, lost it, completely lost it. I mean, oh, I'm just going to let you decide, maybe you like it. What the hell is this? This is what you hear all the time during the weekend. This is what I want at home. I want this in my garden. Isn't this great? That's what I like from my room <laughs> of course it's mirage okay so you see like this is Haras and then you've got Casino Royale inside it's really changed you know it's quite lovely now it's no longer that grungy thing that used to be it's quite lovely inside airy you know Palazzo Deuce by the way it's coming there's the Deuce the famous Deuce Palazzo and Venetian and then Further, you will have uh, on on the right. You'll have Win, and on the left, you've got. Of course, this is one of the entrances to Mirage, and uh, then you've got Treasure Island, and then Fashion Show Mall, and then pretty much after that, one day you'll have Resorts World, which I'm going to show you because they've actually, they've actually now the building is. You can see it now. It's no longer um, a tray, a little something that you didn't know what. You didn't understand what it was okay i'm gonna um, keep going because there's always scaffolding by the way don't expect things to be perfect there's always scaffolding even in front of paris there was scaffolding <laughs> weekends as i said you know if you're a couple wanting to come here for a romantic getaway i would avoid weekends like the plague uh weekends are more for groups young people well, people obviously they can't come here during the week but I have to admit during the week I was walking along even that area that I mean even along yeah there you go along uh, the hideous <laughs> Bellagio fountain show that was hideous tonight but the other day I was walking along it because I had to it's a long walk and um, I was fine you know it was during the week there was nothing going on so it was quiet so on this end you've got Casino Royale all the lights Venetian and this is the famous volcano show of beautiful Mirage see you okay not much to it but I'll show you since I'm here let's hope they don't sorry they don't pierce my eardrum here as well display 
interesting, isn't it? They've got the water at Balazs on fire here. At least they don't thump you with that clubby music. Showed you before. That's what I came for. I had never shown you before. What do you think? Uh, <laughs> you can smell it now. You can really smell it. Okay. Now this is usually what you see instead. The show is a lot more frequent during the weekend than during the week. Okay. I cannot give you times because it changes often. When you check in, you ask and they'll tell you according to the time you have checked in because every season is different, you know? And as I say, weekend is very different from during the week. Now, I'm going to tell you a little story. Some time ago, I was here. I mean, you really get deaf here. Some time ago, I was here and, uh, and there were cats living here, you know, stray cats. People were feeding them, you know. But I wonder if, if they like that show. <laughs> <laughs> Poor animals. Oh, I don't know. Listen, it depends on how old you are, how many times you've come to Vegas. Um, I'm showing it to you because you might not have seen it before. Um, you know, to me, I'm going to tell you, are you going to be shocked? I'm going to shock you. To me, all this stuff, I mean, the, 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 the volcano show, it's nothing. Nothing. First of all, I've seen it for 20 years. No, no 20 years. I didn't come here when I was three. Let's say 10 years. And uh, the last 10 years, nine years to be precise. I've been coming here for nine years. Um, but I understand that it's a way to entertain something different from what you got at home you know it really depends on who you are and what you want uh, it's all about hi beautiful um, I wish they just were quiet but they're not this is the weekend nobody's quiet everybody's loud Okay, so I just want you to just get an idea of what the weekend is like. I'm going to actually walk as fast as I could, but on one hand, I'm holding things. Barrage is a beautiful resort. They are going through some sort of remodeling bit by bit. No, I'm not talking about hammering or anything like that. I was told, allegedly, I don't know, I was told that they are remodeling ducts and pipes and things, you know. And 2020 you should see the completion of it all. So the rooms are, touch, you know, touch and go. I mean, some of them will be perfect, others will not be perfect in terms of ducts and, oh, poor ducts. I wonder if she liked, can you see her poor little thing? I wonder if she liked the show. Did you like the show? You know, if you're not attracted by chaos, loud, crazy, yelling, screaming, <coughs> forgive me, you got to come during the week, forget the weekend. Um, or you just come and then you go to, you know, go to events, you know, whatever, and you just don't even notice, you get from one place to the next without walking the strip, you know. It really does depend. I'm going to actually write pros and cons of South Mid and North Strip to help you out. Many of you ask me questions. Um, it depends on how many days you stay. Like, for example, I went on a tour today, a walking tour, and I left my room. I've been out all day. I'm exhausted, right? And, and that's prepare. Prepare yourself for that if, if you don't want to get onto cabs. But sometimes walking is faster. Take my word for it. And the bus, you know, when it's really busy and there's high traffic, the bus is not going to be fast either, though the buses that go not on the strip obviously are faster. There you go. Now I'm going to go back because I'm going into my room. Uh, Treasure Island is a lot quieter, though they have their own show. Vegas is interesting, you know. I mean, I, the first few times when I came, 
I was extremely excited. It can be very exciting. I understand that. If you are an old timer in terms of not age, but how many times, how many years you've come here, then you're going to be more strict in that I've come you will you probably will have come here for a show in particular or for a particular event or for whatever so you don't care about any of this you know uh, and I get you because I'm in that category these days although I have to bear in mind that I'm still showing you changes if there's a difference in atmosphere I have nothing to give you my babies oh they're so cute got nothing to give you honey She's quite plump, so hopefully she's okay. He, she, whatever. Um, oh, now I feel bad that I don't have a piece of food. I should have, I should have taken a, a cookie, though I'm sure they're not good for them. They're not good for us either. Okay, so that's what I mean. I'm trying to remember what, for a first timer, what a first timer needs to know. But I have so many videos, and I am not repeating them. If nothing has changed. Please refer to the older videos. There are tons of them. Um, and the website I updated all the time. So I'm going to do a big update now. On to See you on top-buffet.com. I think in terms of visual though, I think this part of the strip is still the best because, okay, Mirage is just stunning, right? The outside with or without the volcano show. I, I, I personally couldn't care less about the volcano show, but it's just stunning. And uh, then of course you've got stunning Venetian and Palazzo, right? There too. And then you've got the... St <laughs> Thank God you've got Casino Royale there with their lights to just remind us that this is Las Vegas. Because if you looked at Aria and Cosmopolitan, for example, which are part of mid to south strip, you wouldn't know where you are. You could be in any city in the world. And uh, the moment Vegas loses completely its character, I will no longer come here. And then I'm gonna have to find somebody that reviews this for me. <laughs> because otherwise, you know, it's like the same ever. But luckily the buffets are still somewhere, a reason to come, the shows, you know, and uh, and sometimes the good resorts, the great resorts, sometimes, not all the times. But a resort like this is still worth coming to. Uh, and Palazzo, Venetians, you know, they're still worth... And, and, and Paris is so cute, right? Paris uh, it still has this great character. And of course, if you want class, just pure class, go to Wynn. Although Wynn is not really a themed resort. What is the theme? Classy. <laughs> Okay, it's bye bye from. Ah, uh, oh, the ducks are following me. I have nothing to give them. Uh, bye bye from Mirage and uh, the mid towards north of the strip in Las Vegas. I love this section of the strip. Bye bye.